Show. I like my new ukulele. I got it a while ago. We haven't had a show. I know, shame on me. So today is a special edition of the Iron Pen Show. It's a long episode if you haven't noticed that already. Um, today's episode is dedicated solely to my dad. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, dad. Um, wish you many more. These Today we're taking a walk down memory lane, having a lot of retro TV shows, spoofs from the Iron Pen Show. And the equivalents are in the description. We're having a lot of shows that are like other shows that used to be on TV that my dad really likes. <coughs> <coughs> and, um, that he likes. And I hope you enjoy them, Dad. You know, so we're going to watch them. It's going to be like a TV channel. It's called Retro TV Today. So let's go do that. You fools! You couldn't pull off a simple job without getting your pictures all over the papers. I'm surrounded by incompetence. You're all fools! You! You were in charge of the job. Tell me what went wrong! Boss, it was just... Don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear results. Roscoe, you're in charge now. And you, Tom! Why did you let that photographer take a picture of you? Come here! Well, why did you let him take a picture of you? Explain yourself! Well, I didn't let him. Shut up! I'm tired of listening to you. Is that blood? Do you have a need to bleed? Everyone around here seems to bleed too much. It's so stupid. I hate it! Get out of here! Roscoe, come here. We'll pull off the job tomorrow, Roscoe. Tom will drive the car. Until then, we'll just lay low. You stay here, Roscoe. Here, put all your money in the suitcase or I'll pop ya. Thanks, buddy. Maybe I can do you a favor sometime. Let's go. I thought you said you were going to give him a favor. Well, I didn't say you have to use the Henley hotline. Now that we've rubbed this joint, we can go flee the country, you see? Let's go. It's a cop! There's 50 cops out there. What do we do? Well, stand and fight, see? Open up, this is the police! Yeah, that! Ah. So we finally caught you, big boss. You're gonna be gone for a long time. Don't touch me, I can walk myself. Could you turn it down? It's my favorite show. I'm trying to read. You want to watch TV, but your family thinks it's too loud. What do you do? Those listening headphones can be really expensive and uncomfortable. Introducing the Soundproof Bag. Now you can watch all the TV you want, and your relatives won't hear a thing. It's great! Now I can watch all the TV I want at any sound level. I can't hear it. You can get this great soundproof bag for just $19.99. But wait, 
If you call within the next 15 minutes, we'll give you two, two bags for just $19.99. What a great deal. It will help you for the rest of your life. Call now. This is Jim Ralford. Please leave your name and number and I'll get back to you. Listen, Jimmy, this is Angel. I'm in big trouble. you got to come over to my apartment. I'm in huge trouble, Jimmy. It's urgent. Please come. Who is it? It's me. Come on. What's this all about, Angel? Listen, Jimmy, I'm in big trouble. you got to help me. What did you do now? Listen, remember that con where I pretend I was a big investor man and then the people would give me their money and I would invest it but I wouldn't actually invest it, I would just keep it? Well, it worked for a while, but now they're all after me. Who's after you? Everyone, the mob, the secret service. The secret service? Who'd you con, the president? Listen, Jimmy, I don't think this is very funny. I meant the police department. By an accident, I conned an undercover cop sergeant, and now, if they find me, they'll book me. Also, accidentally, I uh, kind of conned a big mafia boss. <laughs> oh, great. So how do I fit into all of this? All you have to do, Jimmy, is just hide me for a few days. No can do, Angel. I'm not getting involved in this. In fact, I think I'll tell the police myself. You always did have it good with that lieutenant record down at the cop station. Listen, hanging around with cops gives you a bad name around the pool room, you know. I don't care what they say around the pool room. Now listen. Telegram! Shh, don't answer it. It's just a telegram, Angel. Nobody move. Come with us. Come on. Oh, hi, Leo. So this is the guy you con. Sir, my name is Jim Ralford. I have nothing to do with this squirrel. <laughs> Shut up! I thought you were a real investor, but you made a fool out of me. Now you will both pay with your life. Listen, listen, Leo, you don't have to kill all of us. Just just take my friend Jim here, because, you know, uh, he'll go tell his friend the cops if you let him go. But I, I promise I won't. I'll go, I'll go tell everybody. I'll go say, you know, this is what Leo did to him, because he disrespected Leo. So you better be careful, and then everyone will be scared of you, and... Science! Now listen, I know it is a hot day, so how about this? We'll take you down to the lake and you can have a nice swim, okay? We'll even so provide the cement swim fins. You might want to practice holding your breath though. <laughs> take them away. Go on. Hey, don't push. Ow, oh, you have to push so hard. Listen, we can make some sort Shut of up! Well, excuse me. Now listen, I know you guys are reasonable, so can I have one last request? What is it? A last smoke. Sure. You know, Jimmy, I could use a smoke too. <laughs> you don't deserve one. Now, Jimmy, you're no friend. Well, so you caught your man. Now listen, John. You know him too. Is this the cop you caught? Excuse me, Jimmy, but I don't remember inviting you into this conversation. Thank you, Mr. Ruffer. There's a $500 reward on this guy. You'll be hearing from us. And you'd be bad enough to take it too. Listen, he didn't even catch us. You did. Now listen, I don't even want this to happen. You shouldn't even get the money. You should. Officers can't take rewards on the line of duty. Plus, Mr. Ralford left a piece of paper saying where you'd be. Well, there's two more goons up the shore there. Come on. No, this isn't fair. Hope you're enjoying it. We're not over yet. Just taking a brief intermission because I wanted to make sort of an announcement. Today is the end of something beautiful and the beginning of something hopefully even more beautiful. Today is the last episode of Season 1, The Iron Pen Show. Now it's sad, that's, you know, why it's kind of a special edition sort of, that's one of the, well, not really, it's just happened to be a special edition show, but anyway, in season two we're going to have a lot of stuff changed, not the content, but like, we're probably going to switch pen around and stuff, you know, 
So the pocket one will still be here. We promise we won't take that apart. <laughs> it comes apart. Um, anyway, we just wanted to say that last episode. So, let's go back, keep watching more TV, and uh, I'll see you at the end. Enjoy. Have you ever lost your battery on your phone and when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you can't recharge it? We have something for you. The Pocket Windmill! Just stick it on top of your car, it blows, you stick your phone in this outlet and it charges in three minutes! As long as there's a stiff breeze. But wait, there's more! Order the next ten minutes and you can get two of these! Two Pocket Windmills! Isn't that a great deal? But wait, there's even more! If you order in the next 10 minutes again, you get an extendo charger! Just extend it on this thing and you can charge it while you're on the go! Wow, it comes apart! Amazing! Charge it, it even moves around! But order in the next 10 minutes and get it for only $399! Don't miss this incredible deal! What is it, fat man? This is a life form. A human, to be exact. Do you think he's dead? At first I wasn't sure, but now at a closer look, I am positive. The lack of pulse, heartbeat, and breath determine that yes, this police officer human is dead. This was no accident. You suspect foul play? What makes you think that? Well, there are certain clues. The way the body is lying and other things. What other things? The small hole in the shirt depicts death by knife. Look, what's that? It's a candy. Mm, very good. It's a Skittle. The Skiller. And look, we're Skittle. There's a message, Robin. What does it say? It says, what is metal and flies? An iron crow. The next one says, what waxy instrument gives off an odd light? A green candle! Bobbin, this can only mean one thing. The Skiddler intends to kidnap the mayor for ransom. How do we stop him? We must convince the people not to re-elect the mayor. Then he'll be worthless to the Skiddler. Good idea! Let's go! Listen, Don't people! You must not re-elect the mayor! The Skiddler will kidnap him! Batman. He'll be in because trouble! He'll cause trouble for us all! We must go tell everyone, every citizen. Listen, people, we must not re elect the mayor. The killer will kidnap him. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. no one will believe us. We must save the mayor. Look at this. Look at this newspaper. Yeah, the stock market's down. No, look. The mayor has been kidnapped. Here's the address for the ransom. We must save him. It's up to us. Yes, love him. Attack him with these foot jays. A comb? Well, we must look nice if we have to save the day. Ha ha ha! You're fond of me! Listen, Blevin, you must be up those stairs. Go untie him. I'll deal with this sour candy. something you always must remember, Blobbin. What is it? The post office closes at four. I must mail in my submission for the slogan contest. Let's go.
welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, pilot episodes. Maybe we'll have more of them later, hopefully. Of Fat Man. Uh, the gangster guy. <laughs> the boss. And Jim Ralford. Hope you enjoy those. Um, again, these are the last episode, this is the last episode of season one, last, counting down last moments, let's just take a moment to remember all the special moments of season one. Hello and welcome to this edition of the Iron Pen. <laughs> Taking too many poison capsules is not a good idea. Bye. Okay, we're done remembering the season one episodes now. Um, well, uh, so we'll see you next time in season two. I'm really excited for it. We'll just see you then. I hope you enjoyed today and have a great day. Happy birthday, Dad. We'll see you later. Bye.